Hi everyone, it's Lee here. I hope you're all happy and healthy at home. Remember just for now that staying at home is staying safe. I've asked Brody to help me do some cooking because I'm at home myself at the moment. So Brody and I are going to try and cook a damper. Brody and I have both washed our hands really thoroughly with soap and water uh, for 20 seconds each. And what song did we sing while we were washing our hands? Happy birthday. And how many times did we sing happy birthday? Two. Twice, all right. Okay, but also we're going to use our hand sanitizer just to make sure that our hands are really clean. I always have trouble with this. What's going on? Did you do something to it? No. Here we go. Okay, so that's hand sanitizer. Nice and clean. All you need to make your damper, very few ingredients. You need some self-raising flour and some butter. And apart from those two things, all you need is water. The equipment that we need, we need a good sized mixing bowl, a measuring cup, a wooden spoon, still have flashbacks. And for the oven, we just need an oven tray and some baking paper. The first thing we have to do is to put three cups of self-raising flour into our mixing bowl. We'll just do it one at a time. See if we can get it. I think that's pretty close. I think that's one cup. Put that in there. All right, so that's our first cup of flour. Very precise. This is two cups of self-raising flour. Oh yeah. Okay, second cup in the mixing bowl. Beautiful. Okay, last one. Cup number three. Here's our flour. A little bit more. Pour it on in. Wow. Oh, it's all right. You're supposed to make a mess in the kitchen. All right, good job. Wait. Let's do it safely. Elbows. Awesome. There are some lumps in the flour that we're just going to kind of sift out and squash down with the wooden spoon. So you can do that, Brody. Uh, you can use the edge of the spoon. Might be a bit easier. Not the flat part, but the edge. Okay, so you can make it a bit more fine so it's not lumpy. That's a better mixture to have before you add your okay. butter. What we've done next is to add our butter. Now, the recipe that I learned to make this from called for 80 grams of butter, but usually you would just do it to taste and we're just gonna mix it in and it's going to look a bit like breadcrumbs if we do it properly when we're finished. It will be a little bit grainy and look like breadcrumbs. That's the way it's supposed to look, but just try and smooth it out. The next really easy step we need to take is to add one and a half cups of water to our mixing bowl. So I'm just going to go quickly fill this up at the tap for Brody and he can add it to the bowl. Good pour. All right, so you can mix the water into your flour until it starts thickening up and there's no more powder left. You might find like Brody and I that the mixture was a little bit too dry. One and a half cups of water wasn't quite enough. So we just adjusted it and added a little bit more. So we'll see how we go. That might happen to you as well. Just add a bit more water if there's not quite enough. Okay, this consistency that we've hit upon now is really good. It's solid. It's holding together really well and it's going to be easy to form a nice big lump of dough from. All right, I'm going to use my wooden spoon to help me remove the mixture from the bowl onto the oven tray, which is lined with baking paper already. We'll pour the dough onto the tray. And make sure it doesn't go onto your kitchen bench and just want to use every last bit possible so that there's no waste and, and no all of this is going into the oven all of it so you just want to try and shape and yeah. mold your dough on the baking tray into a loaf Brody and I have 
managed to make what looks like the world's biggest uncooked pancake. So we're hoping that when it goes into the oven, it will turn into some delicious brown damper. Okay, it's a couple of days later. We've already enjoyed a few slices of our damper. What did you think of it, Brody? Yeah, it was good. It was good? More, just good? Uh, well, um... Oh, good will do me. And good enough. <laughs> just a few examples of things you could use as spreads or toppings on your damper. You could put butter on. You could put some honey. You could use maple or golden syrup or you could use some jam. I used raspberry jam, you could have strawberry, you could have marmalade. How's that? Good. We hope you enjoyed watching our video. We hope you can enjoy making your own damper. And until next time, that's goodbye from Brody and I. Bye.